everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today, today I have my final update before the finale for the new Decade Project Pan. This was created by Rebecca, also known as Panning and Stuff. Um, she created the new Decade Project Pan because we were starting a new decade and she wanted to do 10 new products. And of course I jumped on it because um, it was easy to pick 10 new products because I have tons of them in my collection. And um, there were some things that I just really wanted to use up and, and get done and get out. So um, as of the last update, I had finished eight of these products. I technically had 11 in because I had two of the same products, which was my face wipes. So, um, you know, that kind of gave me a little bit of an advantage because I was working on 11 products. So I could, you know, probably easily get to 10 and a half. I have. I finished two more products. Yay! Um, did I say that it's a year-long project? Yes. I don't know if I did, but it is a year-long project. Um, so yeah, I finished two products and I am officially at 10 for my decade worth of products. The first one is from Sinful Colors. It is the Cosmos um, nail polish. I, I do like this color. I have lotion on my hands. I can't even open it. You can probably see some of the windows in there. I, I use this like to the fullest and I really enjoy the color. It, as you can see, it's a really pretty color, but it's a satin and, um, I was not in love with the finish of it. I like my gloss. I like my glitters. Um, I like shiny, pretty sparkly things. And, um, it had the color. It just didn't have any of the oomph that I usually like out of a polish. Um, I do have tons more of these types of polish in my collection that I'm going to continue to work on. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this one, one because it's not cruelty free and two, because it's a satin finish. Um, I did like the fact that it did dry quicker. Uh, the satin seemed to dry quicker than like the high gloss, like I'm wearing today, but, um, yeah, it's definitely not a repurchase for me, but it was lovely. If you like a satin finish, you probably would like it, especially if you like this color. I mean, it, it wore okay, but I don't know. I just, I, it didn't wow me like I was hoping it would. What you gonna do? Um, all right, the other one, oh, I'm so happy this one is done. This is, mm, this is the Buxom Plumping Lip Balm in Big O. And yes, I did scrape it all out. And you can see how it kind of looks pinkish in there. This when you put it on, it looks like a clear balm, but then it would turn pink. Pink. Um, not my favorite. I, the formula was fine. I, like it made my lips feel fine. Um, had just a tiniest bit of tingle because that's part of the reason why I like Buxom stuff is because of that tingle. But the color, no, it lies. Um, I, I just wanted a pretty sheer balm that was easy to work with and it turned pink. So glad it's done. I do have other of the Buxom um, lip balms that are like, they came in a gift set and they are allegedly color changing. I haven't even tried them. One is like a brown color, one is a red, and I can't remember what the, the fourth color is. <sighs> we will see how those go. I will be working on some more lip products obviously next year, but boy am I glad that one is done. I really am. All right, the last product. The last one, it's what I have on my nails today. This is the P2 Volume Gloss in Old Maid. Um, if I finish it, I will be very, very happy. But like I said, it will put me at 11 products. I'm okay with that. Finishing at 11 would be absolutely great. You can see my lines here. Um, I was at this pink last time and now I'm at this purple and it does taper down. And, um, I don't know if it will start to go a little bit quicker. This is one that I probably will start wearing on my toes a little bit. Um, I have a red polish I'm working on and, and this one, these are the two that I am, I'm probably working on the hardest right now. Um, but I do get bored, so I will kind of switch them up here and there, but, um, you know, put I'm, some days I might use this as an accent nail. I don't think this and red are going to go well together. Um, so I probably won't wear them in conjunction with one another, but I can do different toppers on this and see if maybe I can get a little bit more progress. I'm going to keep going on this, even though um, I've technically hit the 10. I kind of want to try to finish it if I can. So we will see by the 
next update time, which will be the finale, if I can finish this off. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can I finish that off if I'm working on other polishes as well? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. We will see, but I'm gonna give it the old college try and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna have Rebecca link down below. There's tons of people that have joined into this project. There is no official playlist or anything like that, but I'm sure you can pop in um, New Decade Project Pan into the YouTube search thing, and I'm sure tons of people will pop up. I know Alex is doing it. I saw hers the same day I was filming mine like way back in December, like right before the end of the year. So I know that Alex is doing it. I know there's a bunch of other people doing it as well. So again, I'm gonna have Rebecca down there if you wanna go check her out and you should, cause she's awesome. And um, yeah, hopefully she'll come up with something fun to do again next year. Can't be this because you know, it's not a new decade, but maybe she'll come up with something good. All right, I am gonna wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.